Welcome back to Web Cafe AI. We do daily chat GBT and AI videos for your personal and business life. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the app of Notion, seeing how AI, Zapier, and chat GBT can integrate with it. We're still on our journey where we're tackling all 5,000 apps found on Zapier's backend and seeing how AI can be integrated with every single one. Let's try to hit 50 likes on this video as it really helps us here at Web Cafe AI. And a lot of the times for this new software that we're dealing with, we are making accounts just for these videos as we want to show y'all how to leverage ChatGPT with them. So let's go ahead and start off and we're gonna go ahead and create our zap here and name it the Notions app. Let's come up here, we're gonna do Notion integrations. And essentially what I wanna do today is when a Slack message is sent to a specific channel, I wanna use GBT to summarize it, give a key point and then push it towards a task list that we built out in Notions. This is the task list we are dealing with in Notions. Essentially, this is going to be the end value of what we're trying to achieve here. We're going to want to build out that Slack message and structure it correctly and push it towards this task list. Let's go ahead and begin. Do our trigger here, which is going to be a Slack message. So we're going to do Slack and then we're going to do the event of new channel message, new message posted to Slack channel here. We're going to continue here. We're going to choose our pseudo account of Web Cafe AI and then continue again. And then we're going to choose our channel here and we're gonna do general, and we're gonna include bot in this context. We're gonna hit continue here, and let's go ahead and test this trigger. So as you see here, we got a ton of different data here. What we're specifically looking for is data that is apparent to a new lead that we're potentially getting. So we have set up another automation using AI on another video that is our Slack dedicated video, where essentially a new Google event had occurred for a cold lead for a phone call. We structured the messaging for that phone call and then pushed it towards our Slack channel here. As you see, this was the output from here. We're gonna go ahead and continue with this selected record and manipulate the underlying data here. Let's choose a chat GBT block here. And we're gonna do an event of conversation. Continue, continue. And essentially, let's go ahead and fill in some parameters here. So we can keep the username. We can keep basically the majority of these inputs. I wanna up my model to GBT4 here. And essentially, let's go ahead and add a memory key here to ensure consistent outputs. We'll do a memory key of Notion. And then from here, what we can do is start structuring our GBT prompt. I'm gonna say based off this Slack message, semicolon parentheses, enter in text variable, generate a title for what the event is and the three main things I need to know when approaching this event. And for now, we can go ahead and add a little bit more. Let's go ahead and add a parameters block here. We're gonna say maximum, we're gonna say generate, or we're gonna say use a maximum of 200 words. As we know with Notion and the formatting of the UI, you don't wanna have like paragraphs when it comes to this kind of stuff. So we're gonna use a user maximum of 200 words, have the title be a max of three to five words. From here, let's go ahead and come down here and generate our first output of this prompt. Test the action. All right, so as you see here, we got our output, the title of the underlying event, AI powered social media optimization, and then three main points of it, the event theme, the location, and the stakeholder. So we got a good amount of stuff here. What we can do here is let's go ahead and format this a little bit better. So if you're familiar with my other tutorials here at Web Cafe AI, let's go ahead and utilize something new that we learned, which was the formatting data block here. In order to do so, what we can do is we can go ahead and first make our notions block and you will see what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and do our notions block here. And we're gonna do the event of create, create database item. Hit continue here. We're gonna use our fake account here at notions. We're gonna do the database. And then essentially what we're gonna choose is task list. And then from here, we got a couple of stuff we want to add here, such as the name, the status, the content. So let's go ahead and add the status to to do and just do a couple of things. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove those quotation marks. So let's go ahead and go to assistant response message. Let's go to format data. I'm going to say remove quotation marks and then we're going to let Zapier and the AI on the back end understand exactly what we're talking about here. It's going to add that formatter block here. So the first step was removing these quotation marks found on the title. 
the next thing I want to do with this data here is I want to actually separate the title from the other parts of this information. So we're going to go ahead and do format data. I'm going to do split the title from the rest of the text. As you see here, it has been identified in the GBT output what the title is. Therefore, when I do the split function found in the formatter tool, it's going to know exactly what I'm talking about. So when I say create this step, it should know in theory what I'm referring to. I did make one mistake here. I accidentally grabbed the output of the original GBT conversation. Now that we've already formatted the quotation marks, let's go ahead and format the data that's already been formatted. So, I mean, that's a little bit of an exception right there, but essentially what we want to do here is we're going to say split the text found after, and we're going to do, maybe we have to do quotation marks here. So understand exactly what I'm talking about here. We're going to, go ahead and create this text. As you see here, we got our block here, the separator being title. I'm going to continue here, test this action, and all we're looking for is AI-powered social media optimization. Let's see if that occurs. All right, so that did not occur. Let's go ahead and maybe manipulate this a little bit here. I believe what we're looking for here is the first line, not the second line. So let's go ahead and retest this action. That did not work either. So I'm going to go ahead and try a different function here. Sometimes the formatted tool is not perfect. And the function I'm looking to do here is going to be based off new line and essentially kind of in the name. Every time there is a new line in the text, it will separate the underlying data. I'm going to do all but separate fields. This is going to allow me to grab the specific title that I'm looking for. All right, there you go. So it has been identified as item one. Perfect. Now, in theory, I could add another formatter block here to remove title, but I don't really see that as necessary. So we're going to go ahead and input the data now. First is going to be the first output item one, which is going to be the title that we just segmented it off of. The next thing we're going to do is going to add the content here with the remove quotation marks. And then the last thing we can do is choose the format. We're going to just do plain text. And from here, I'm going to go ahead and continue and then test this action. Boom. There we go. So we obviously could have formatted the title out of here and formatted the title out of there, but you kind of get the idea of how to use a formatter block and what context you'd want to do that in. But as you see here, we got the title card for the underlying notion task, as well as the copy found within that task that we created with chat DBT. If you feel like you learned something, make sure to like the video. It's completely free and it helps us here at Web Cafe AI. If you want to learn more about ChatGPT and Zapier and AI automation, check out the playlist at the end of this video as we're diving into all 5,000 apps found on Zapier's backend and seeing how we can leverage AI with every single one. If you're interested in looking for pre-built AI automation solutions that you can use for your business or for your clients' businesses, check out our marketplace. This is where you're going to be able to find a bunch of optimized AI automation solutions ready to be installed. But without further ado, I'll see you in the next video video. Thanks for tuning in. And yes, surprise, I'm an AI avatar. Make sure to explore more here at Web Cafe, where we demystify AI for your personal and business life. Until next time.